Hey everybody, coming to you here from our social distance, social hall sanctuary. I want to offer a few thoughts on the Parsha this week. Rashi asks the famous question at the beginning of the Torah. This week we start the Torah over, Bereshi. And Rashi asks, why did this, doesn't this Torah begin with laws? After all, isn't it a book of laws? Why don't we begin with the first mitzvah in the Torah about Rosh Chodesh, which we'll be celebrating on Monday? And the answer is, uh, many answers. Uh, Rashi gives an answer to show how God created the world and uh, how really Eretz Yisrael, the connection between the Jewish people and the land of Israel, goes back from God at the beginning of creation. But I want to offer uh, another answer, which is the answer that really what we learn in Sefer Bereshit, the actions of our forefathers and our foremothers are meant to be teachers and guides for us. That is a form of Torah in itself. Uh, and the, one of the key actions taken throughout this book, throughout the book of Genesis, is the action of tefillah, the action of prayer. We see prayer happening uh, by our forefathers and our foremothers in times of great distress, in times of joy and triumph. They're always trying to find ways to connect to God throughout all the ups and downs of their lives. And I think that's a powerful message that Sefer Bereshit teaches us. If we can ask, why do we have Sefer Bereshit in our Torah if there's no rules or laws? I think one answer is to teach us the power and the importance of working on a relationship with God through the ups and downs of life. And not only doing it, uh, you know, at times when we feel strong feelings or we really need help, but doing it with consistency throughout our lives. That's one of the teachings that Chazal take away from Avram, Yitzchak, and Yaakov. They point out that each one of them established one of the three daily prayers. Avram, in the book of Genesis, establishes the prayer of Shacharit, the morning prayer. Yitzchak, in the book of Genesis, establishes the prayer of Mincha, the afternoon prayer. And Yaakov establishes the, the prayer of Maruv, the evening prayer. Three prayers a day. I know that could seem like a lot, but I really want to encourage everybody, as we have this new beginning of Sefer Bereshit, a new Jewish year, new opportunities, to think about their relationship with prayer and to think about creating fixed times each day for prayer. Fixed times each day for reflection, for stepping back, for quiet. Maybe it's the prayers in the Siddur, I think that's wonderful. Or if not the prayers in the Siddur, just taking five minutes to speak to God, to offer gratitude to God, or even just to be quiet in the afternoon, in the morning, in the evening. Fixing time in our schedules for reflection, for calm, for crying out, for just giving space for our souls to breathe a little bit in this very soul-constricting time that we live in. It's so important. We're just leaving the holidays, uh, of course, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, Sukkot, Sibchat Torah, where there was a lot of communal prayer, whether it was in our outdoor services or indoor services or at home. Many of us were engaged in the effort of prayer, and that was wonderful. And I think the challenge of Sefer Bereshit modeled by our forefathers and our foremothers is to keep that prayer going, to keep those times for connection and prayer going, whether it's at home, whether it's on Zoom, or whether it's in person. I'm very excited also to announce that uh, for the first time in Skokie Valley's history, we will be offering three prayers every single day in our shul, God willing, with the minion. That's something that's happening starting on Monday. Normally, we do three prayers a day in the summer. We have Shachrit in the morning and Mincha Marev at night. And in the winter, we do two a day, Shachrit in the morning and Marev at night. But because now our membership, thank God, has grown, and because now people are working from home and are more around, I think it's the time to start doing three a day in the winter. So what that means, Tachlis, is that every single day, starting on Monday, we'll have Shachrit in the morning and Mincha Marev at night. Mincha Marv will be around Shkia time, around sundown time. Check your calendars for the uh, correct time. So no more 8 p.m. Marv. Now instead we'll have a Mincha Marv at 5.40 p.m. And this is important because the Torah is so clear about the power of prayer. Halacha is so clear about the power of prayer and the necessity of communities creating uh, a, a minion. A minion that can support communal prayers, support those saying Kaddish, and to do that diligently every single day. And we do a great job at it already, and we're going to do a better job at it with this new Mincha Marev, uh, establishment that we're going to be have starting moving forward on Monday. So I really want to encourage everyone who feels comfortable going out a little bit, whether it's going to the grocery store or going out to a sporting event, this or that, whatever you feel comfortable. If you feel comfortable going out of the house, going into a space, 
I want to encourage you to come to Mincha Marav, even if it's just once a month, to come and be a part of the communal effort of really establishing this prayer for our community. I can tell you, if you feel safe going to outdoor space, going to indoor spaces, there's no safer indoor space, I think, than what we have going on here at Skokie Valley. Let me just show you, I'll give you a quick tour of our social distance sanctuary. So as you can see, tables are spread at least 10 feet apart. Windows are open, cross ventilation. We have new filters on our HVAC system, which runs pretty much all the time. And we have two air uh, distributors, air, filled, uh, air circulators that are on the roof that were just fixed up this summer that are running every time there's a prayer in this space. So there's fresh air, there's social distancing. Of course, everyone is diligent about wearing masks. There's hand sanitizer, there's windows open. And there's only about between 10 and 15 people in this very large room. So if you feel comfortable going to uh, any kind of indoor space, I want to encourage you to make Minchem Arev and Shacharit, make communal tefillah uh, uh, something on your list to attend. I think it's so important as we enter the winter and times of really communal dispersion uh, to find ways to safely, safely, to safely gather together and be together and pray together and see one another. I think it's so important. We gotta keep it up. As long as we can do it safely, we're gonna keep it up and we need your help. And especially the men. We need the men who make the minion. We're counting on you to come and help us out. So as we enter Safer Beret Sheet, a month of new beginnings, I wanna really encourage everyone to think about prayer and setting aside time for reflection and prayer each and every day, uh, ideally three times a day, but really whenever you can. Do it, set aside the time, reflect, pray, say the Shema, say the Amidah. If you want some guidance in what uh, building daily prayer in your life can look like, I'm gonna be teaching the Halacha class on Sunday mornings. It's gonna be focused on Mincha and Marav. Uh, so that can help you learn more about the prayers and how you wanna plug into them and make them a part of your life. And if you feel comfortable, I wanna encourage you to come here to our Mincha Marav Tefillah. It's very safe, it's as safe as you can be inside. And uh, we have a nice small group that comes and we need your help. And this is, uh, I think, a great way to start this new year, to start this new beginning, this new beginning of Sefer Bereshit 5781, to start it with prayer. That's the foundation of a communal uh, Jewish community. And uh, from that, we build out, we do many other things. And uh, please, God, we'll share some more exciting new initiatives coming in the, in the weeks and months ahead. Uh, lots of ways we're thinking about our community and how to keep connected and keep healthy and keep strong together. So I look forward to sharing some of that with you soon. But the foundational building block of the Jewish people, uh, I believe, is tefillah. So let's really uh, inspire ourselves and push ourselves to make tefillah a part of our lives, to strengthen our community tefillah. And please God, with that foundational building block, many more amazing things will happen for our community in the months and years ahead. So uh, Shabbat Shalom, and thanks for helping out, and thanks for doing what you can for your own spiritual life by setting aside the time for prayer. And I look forward to seeing uh, whoever feels comfortable either on Zoom or in person at our Mincha Marv Tefillah, the first in Skokie Valley's history all year round very soon. Thank you and Shabbat Shalom.